What's up guys, my name is Technobber here for Troubleshoot and today I've got an incredibly useful video for you that goes through setting up and using the Steam Desktop Authenticator. So if you don't know what this is, basically if you have the Steam app on your phone and you have two-factor authentication through it, in other words you get a pop-up saying do you want to log in, followed by a code, or you simply click in the app and you get your code there. And then you punch it into Steam and you log into your account. Basically, it's that same exact thing just on your computer. Why exactly would you want that? Well, of course, number one, accessibility. It's on your computer with you encrypted, meaning that if someone does copy the files and steal them for themselves, they still need your password that you set for it to get your two-factor authentication. The second thing would be backups because I can make a backup of that. I can't really make a backup of it on my phone. I'll have to save the recovery code. And that, of course, trade bans you for quite a while. And then the third thing, which is actually really good, is copying it between your own computers. If you have a laptop or something on the go, you can take your authenticator with you, whether or not you have your phone with you. And the fourth thing, which is probably the most useful, and that is having more than one account with a Steam Authenticator. Now, if you have the mobile app on your phone, as far as I know, you can only have one Steam account associated with it, meaning that you'll need another phone to get another two-factor code. However, this program allows you to have as many accounts as you want. So enough of the explanation, how exactly do we get it? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Because it's open source, you can go ahead and read through everything yourself to see if you want it or not. This is the GitHub page over here, and we'll head to the Releases tab up here. This will be linked down in the description below. You can also click the Download Here button, which will take you to the same place as here. Then I'll find the one with the latest release tag, and I'll click on the sda.zip down here. So if you know how to read c -sharp code, then good on you. You can go ahead and read through this yourself, and if you wanted to, you could even build it from scratch, meaning that there's absolutely no sketchy code inside of it. As for how many people actually use it, 1.2 thousand stars on GitHub is quite difficult to get, so there are a ton of people who use this. Either way, once it's done downloading, I'll go ahead and open up the zip. Then I'll create a folder on my desktop or somewhere similar, open it up, and I'll extract everything from the zip into that folder. Then once that's done, I can double click on Steam Desktop Authenticator.exe and it'll go through installing everything that's needed. If prompted for admin while installing, just click yes and it'll continue with the process. There we go. Once it's done, we'll have this over here. So I already have Steam Desktop Authenticator in another location on this PC and I want to import the accounts or this is my first time and I just want to sign into my Steam accounts. So I'll go ahead and click the second option and it'll take me to this page over here. Now, because I want to show you the multi-account functionality, I'll go ahead and open up my actual one in a different folder location now. So there we go, I've opened it up. And as you can see, I've got a passphrase that I need to enter. Once I've entered it, I get the login token up here, followed by my account and a view confirmations page, which is where we'll be heading if we need to confirm a trading of items. As you can see, it's the same page over here from the Steam Mobile Authenticator. If you've made trades before that need to be confirmed, then you already know exactly what this is. Unfortunately though, it doesn't seem to work with the family view. So if you have that as an extra step of security in your account, it may not work here. So I just temporarily disabled it for that. Either way, slight glitch aside, let's go ahead and log into a second Steam account of mine so I can show you how to add an account here. So I'll be using my Steam account switcher, which will also be linked down below. I'll select the account that I want, log in, Steam will close and reopen into this account. Then once it's open, I can click my name in the top right and go to account details. Then when I'm on this page, I can scroll down and as you can see, I have a phone number linked. I'm pretty sure that you need a phone number linked in order to enable this two-factor authentication, but I'm not entirely sure, so keep that in mind. If this doesn't go as expected, try linking a phone number and see if it does then. You can have a phone number on more than just one account, though if you get VAC banned on one of those accounts that are linked, you'll get VAC banned on all of them. Anyways, anyways, I'll go ahead and head back to the Steam Authenticator and I'll click set up new account. Now inside of here, you may be a little bit sketched out about putting in your username and password, but I have trusted this program for many years with an account that's worth a ton of money. Either way, I'll go ahead and enter a username and a password over here. I'll click login after entering my Steam login details and it says they've sent me an email. So I'll go ahead and check my email for that code now. 
So I've got the email asking for access on a new computer. I'll punch in the code over here and hit enter or accept. Then that window will disappear and we'll get back to here. Note that the program appears like it's crashed, but just give it some time to think. So because I have a pass key on my account currently, I'll need to enter it over here. For some reason, it's not put into dots. So I'll have to go ahead and blow that out much like I have some other information. Then we'll get this pop up over here asking us to write down our recovery code. So let's go ahead and do that now. I'll simply save it on a notepad file on my other screen over here. Then I'll hit OK after writing it down and we'll have to enter the SMS code that was sent to our phone. I just received an SMS saying confirm adding a Steam Authenticator with the following code. I'll enter that code and hit enter. Then you'll be asked to enter the recovery code that we just wrote down. Simply enter that here to confirm that we saved it and click enter. Then you'll see successfully linked. Please write down your recovery code and there it is again. Make sure to do that. Then as you can see, I've got two accounts on the list down here. I can click between them as such and I'll get the different codes for the different accounts. To make sure that this works properly and smoothly, make sure that the time on your computer is synced with the internet and is absolutely correct as this is critical to having this confirmation work properly. The same is true for your phone, but it's a little bit different there. Either ways, once you have your accounts added, I'll go across to file followed by settings. Inside of here, we can leave the program running and check for new confirmations. And when they do, they'll pop up on the side of our screen where we can go ahead and click on them for more info. As you can see, we can also auto confirm market transactions and trades, though this is a little bit dangerous as if your account is stolen and someone tries to trade everything, they'll automatically be accepted. So I wouldn't use that feature unless you know exactly what you're doing. Then on selected account, we can go to login again, force session refresh, we can remove from manifest, meaning we remove the account that's selected down here and deactivate authenticator, which you can do if you'd like to remove it. But of course, you can also use the recovery code on this Steam page over here to do it. Speaking of, let's go ahead and refresh. And as you can see, the state is turned from yellow to green and it says protected by Steam Guard Mobile Authenticator. Great. So I'll go ahead and click the big manage encryption button, which is probably going to be the most important one. Of course, if you don't have a password set, it won't ask you for one here. Either way, as soon as you click it, you'll get this pop up over here saying enter a new pass key or leave blank to remove encryption. I would highly, highly recommend that you set a password here because if someone steals this program's files, they're also stealing access to your mobile authenticator, which are all of the accounts over here. So it is absolutely critical to have a good, strong password here that you use absolutely nowhere else. Why do I say that? Well, because this doesn't have a timeout or anything similar, someone can brute force all of your known passwords that you have saved on your computer and a bunch of other things to try and get into it. Whereas on a website like Google or something, they'll be asked for captures and they'll eventually be blocked out if they put in the wrong password too many times. After entering a password once, we have to enter it again to confirm that we knew what we typed. And after a quick freeze, passkey successfully changed, meaning that our accounts are now secure. Either way, that's about it. In order to check for updates in the future, use the check for updates button in the bottom left, and you can see I'm using the latest version. Either way, thank you for watching. My name's been Technobi here for Troubleshoot. Hopefully this video helped you, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.